rejoice and be glad in it. There can never be a better yesterday. Today is better than yesterday. Why? Yesterday is gone. Yesterday can never come back. But you have a loss to achieve today. God is possible to turn a poor man a millionaire. See this day. So this day is pregnant. This day is wonderful. Hallelujah. Today I just want to preach briefly on the topic I titled Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Our text is taken from the book of 2 Kings chapter 2 verse 14 says and Elijah took the mantle that fell from Elijah and on getting to river Jordan, he smokes the Jordan and says, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And as he has smitten the river, the Bible says, The river parted left and right, and he passed through. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. From the beginning, we are meant to understand that on that faithful day, God called Elijah and said, this day you are going to come back to be with me. And Elijah tried everything to stop Elijah from following him. He said to Elijah, wait, that God is calling me to come to better. And Elijah said to him, as long as this God liveth, I will not leave you. Wherever you are going, that is where I will be. Praise the Lord. You see, wherever you go, that is where I will be going. And from there, when they go to Bethlehem, he said to him, the Lord is calling me to come to Jordan. And that is how he kept on telling him. And he knew where he said he's going. Elisha said, he will And when they got to Jericho, the source of the prophet said to Elisha, Yes, God has revealed to us that God is going to take your master today. He said, I know. Don't tell me. On getting to Jordan, they told him the same story. But he refused to listen to other people because there was a man he was following. He was following a man that had made a mark. He was following a man that had, in short, demonstrated the power of God. He was following a man that has shown the world that there is no other person like the God of Israel. The God who created heaven and earth. And on getting to Jordan, he said to him, I know when they cross, I know that you are trying, but ask anything now. And Elisha said to Elijah, the only thing I'm asking is the double portion of your spirit. He said, to me, you have asked the hardest thing on earth, but if you will see me when I will take it off, then you will have what you have asked. And one of those said that why we are moving all of a sudden, a child of fire came in between them, and Elijah saw Elijah being taken. He cried, my father, my father, the chariots of Israel and his cause, amen, has gone. Hallelujah. The Bible says he took the man to the fed from Elijah. And coming to the Jordan again, the same Jordan that roared against him, roared against him. But he remembered something. He remembered that a few hours ago they passed through this place. And there was something that Elijah did. And if I can do that again, I will have the same answer. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And this is the question that everybody, many people are asking. Some people will wake up in the morning, they ask themselves, where is God? I've seen some people that say to me, is this God still alive? Is this God still answering prayer? If God is alive, why am I in this condition? I've 
seen same people, I have also seen people that say that this life is not worth living. The best thing of, about this life is to take this life and go. Why? Because it seems that God is no longer answering prayer. I was in the church one day and somebody came. He shot, that person met me in the shop first. And that morning he said to me, what I know that God answers your prayer. What I want you to pray now is say, ask God, I want to die. Tell God to kill me today, today, today. I said, is that what you want? He said, yes. All I want is that God should kill me. Don't pray for any other thing. God answers your prayer. Tell God to kill me. I said, no problem. Go back to your house. I will tell God. But you will not be in your presence. But this God that you are asking to kill you, this God changed his story. And I know he will do something for you. She said to me, do something for you. I don't want anything because I've not done anything since I've been asking. God should kill me. I want to die today. Hallelujah. And I laughed and I said to her, go. And she left. I asked God to prove to her that he is God. And when she got back to the house, God answered her. <laughs> Hallelujah. God answered her that when we came back in the evening in the church, she was laughing, coming to me, hey, praise the Lord. I said, Sister Marie, what are you still doing in the church? It's almost to nine, and I asked God to kill you by nine. <laughs> she knelt down and said, please, beg God, I don't want to die. <laughs> Hallelujah. So what are you doing? It's almost for night. And I gave God night to kill you. He said, brother, please pray. I don't want to die. Why? Because God has said it. Hallelujah. Amen. And this is the question of a lot of people. And one thing I want you to understand today, if you are asking that question, where is God? Where is the God of Elijah? Where is the God of this? Where is the God of that? Where is the God of... I want you to understand you are not qualified to call the God of anybody until you have followed that person even as he has followed God. Hallelujah. Many of us want to get anything we want on the platter of God. We want to get everything we want. Living the same life we are living, not the one that God wants us to live. Where is the Lord God of Elijah and God answer? And people say it again that like, there is something I want you to understand today. Before you know what a man can do, you must have known what that person has done. If you don't know what a man has done before, you may not know what that man is capable of doing. And if you don't know what God has ever done, you may not even know what God is capable to do. And that is why there is need for us to listen to testimonies. That is why there is need for us to even read testimonies. That is why there is need for us to go and search and know what this God has done before. The Bible says in Psalm 44, when you study from verse 1 to 3, in that place, the psalmist said to God, Our forefathers have told us, we have had what you, have, what you did to them. We we are meant to understand that even where they are living now, they did not get it by their own power. Even what they are enjoying now, it was never by their power. Because the Bible said that by strength shall no man prevail. He said what they are enjoying today is not what they have gotten by their strength. It's not what they have gotten by their power. It's not what they have gotten by their knowledge. It's not what they have gotten by their expertise, wisdom. But what they have gotten because they trusted you. Have you ever known what God has done? Have you ever seen what this God has done? If you have not known, if you have not seen, if you have not heard, you may not know what is capable of doing. Praise the living God. Praise the living God. See, when you don't know a man, you can insult the man anyhow. But when you know the man, because you know him, you may not insult him. I've told us a story of a community in Lagos that they gathered, they were having lunch, they want to raise money, they want to do a project in their community right down in the east. 
And there was this young man. The young man prays too much. The young man speaks and talks too much. The young man is a charismatic. The young man. So the day they were bring that much in, he also came. He was not covered on the high table. He was sitting at the back. And all of a sudden, he got up, came to the MC and said to the MC, I want to talk to my people. The moment he collected my phone, those on the high table, they say, ooh, this praise God man. Why did MC give this? We will now begin to speak in tongues. We did not come here to pray. We did not come here to pray. We come here to, to, to donate the money. Which kind of a thing is the Why did he give this man? This one boy, he knows that he doesn't hear at all. We will not collect this thing today from him. We are talking money, and he's here. He's a man that speaks it all. And he tells my brother, I said, my brothers and sisters, the people of our camp, I tell them for what people are doing in this thing. This thing has taken long, many, many years ago. He said to them, that what you are doing, I appreciate it. And then, God, I don't have much to give you today, but when I see the project going on, I will know what I will do. But I just brought this a uh, check of one million to support you. They say, MC, you didn't sit on high table. <laughs> Why did you allow him to even sit at the back? No, it's the son of the son. You should come to the high table. Hallelujah. The story changed immediately. Why were they making mockery of him? Because they don't know him. And I want to announce to somebody here today. Those who have said bad things about you will begin to say good things. Yeah. It doesn't take up anything to change a man's story. Oh, yes. Likewise, they change their mind. I decree today. People will change their mind concerning you. Yeah. I want people to stand up and say, people will change their mind concerning me. Signing you. It doesn't take God anything. You remember that why Elijah was following Elijah, the sons of the prophets came to him and said to him, Don't you know we are also the sons of the prophets? And your master will be taken today. He said to them, I know. I know and I know. They said to him, Why are you wasting time following him? Stay with us, allow him to go. He said, I'm not staying. But the word of God says, The moment Elijah was taken, and this young man came to that river and said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And the river parted for him. When he crossed to meet the other sons of the prophets, that were discussing with him as colleagues, that were discussing with him as equal, that were discussing with him as members of the sons of the prophet. All of a sudden, when he crossed, when they looked at him, they said, The spirit of Elijah is upon Elijah. And they came to him not to discuss with him, they came to him to bow down before him because level has changed. And I prophesy this morning that somebody's level has changed. I said,
The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8, that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And in the book of Malachi chapter 3, verse 6, it is recorded that I am the Lord, I change it not. If you understand it and if you believe it, you don't need to ask where it's gone. If you understand it and believe it, you don't need to cry when you're having challenges. Challenges is part of life, but one thing is certain. The word of God says something in the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. He says, after you must have suffered for a while, the Lord your God will strengthen you. The Lord your God will perfect you. The Lord your God will establish you. And the Lord your God will settle you. There's going to be settlement after this meeting. Yeah. Why am I saying this? Because the Bible said that heaven and earth will pass away, but not the thought of the word of God will pass without fulfilling the purpose. In the book of Isaiah chapter 55, he said, As rain cometh from heaven and never return to him for it, so it is the word has gone out from his mouth. That any word has gone out from his mouth will never return to him for it. He said, Where I send it, that word will prosper. And God said in the book of Tom John, my son, that I wish I both all things that you may prosper. Even as I am so prospering, nothing can stop the word of God from working wonders in your life in this meeting. Yeah. We are serving a God. I look at that place. You know, in one of my books, Let the God of Elijah, right? I said something that maybe Elijah go to the place. And the last I was pleading to the river Jordan just to give way so that the pass, the river said you are not going anywhere. He tried to swim. It was the time that the river used to overflow. He didn't want to drown me. He looked at himself and said, will I stay here until I die? This is not where I was meant. And it was on that note, he said, where is the Lord God of Elijah? There is a God that just answered us while we are passing. And that God is capable because he changed not. That God is capable of answering me again. And he said, where is the Lord God of Elijah? He smashed the river and the river parted for him. Just like the river did when he was with Elijah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Understand something today. If you know that there is nothing on earth that is new. There is nothing on earth that is new. Everything that ever it will still happen again. What you are passing through today, there are people that have passed through that day. And that is why the scripture was written. The Bible says that everything written in the scripture was written for us. For us to learn for our example, for teaching and for instruction. If you begin to read the word of God, you will see that there are a lot of people that have passed through certain things and God saw them through. It's it in your own time that God will not see you through. Tell someone by your side, God never failed. God never failed. Having this in mind, that was what moved Elijah to say, Where's the Lord God of Elijah? Hallelujah. Amen. When people pray, they say, God of this, God of that, God of this man. And I want you to understand today that God of the old is not the God of now. The God of the man you are calling is your own. God. If there is something that God has done to that man, that is making you to call that man God, the God of the man, the same God that can do it for you and become your own God. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. So, the question we are asking ourselves, where is God of Elijah? We should be turning that question to where are the Elijahs of God? Because until you prove yourself, God will not manifest himself. Hallelujah. The Bible says something in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 16 verse 9. He said the eyes of the Lord move so and fro to show himself powerful on behalf of those who are loyal to him. On behalf of those who have perfect heart before him. The eyes of the Lord. In other words, God is looking everywhere to act. God is looking out every day to act. But there are people that will provoke him into action. We are here today to provoke God into action. We are here today that God will rise again and do what he has been doing in the days of the old. Amen. Amen. Where is the God of Elijah? Who is Elijah? Elijah is a no-nonsense man. Elijah, when other prophets were hiding, Elijah came out and 
have said, look, the rain of power will not continue while I am still alive. God is looking for Elijah that will stand for him in and out of season. God is looking for men that will turn the heart of men to God. God is looking for men like Elijah that will say, as long as I live, anything that is not of God will not stand. That is the man. That is why Elijah could be able to say, where is the God of Elijah? Elijah is no nonsense prophet that says that I will not be alive and the whole nation will be messed up. You remember that when Elijah was crying, he said to God, I am the only prophet left in Israel. What am I still alive? God said to him, I have left 700 or 7,000. 7,000 men that have not bowed down to bow. I have left thousands of men, but those men are not bold enough to come out and stand for their God. They were not bold enough. It was only one man, Elijah the Tishbah, that just came out and moved to the king and said to the king, There shall be no rain in Israel except by my word. God is looking for a man. God is looking for men like Elijah that said to the king, Look at me here now until I say so, nothing will happen. The issues that have not proven God. This is that we have not tried God. This is that we don't know what God is capable of doing. Just like I keep on telling, I said to us that they, they came to me and said that we have gone to hospital. This is the 13th year of our marriage and there is no issue. And the reason being that there is no room. And I just stood and said, if there is no room, we we'll go and buy baby things. That the children that wear these clothes will come. They went and bought the clothes and we prayed and the woman conceived. And the woman was sick from where? With what womb? Any time you stand for God, God will stand for you. Things are not working because we are so fearful. Things are not working because we are too cold. Things are not working because we are too... How do I put it? We don't even know who we are. Elijah is a man that after three and six years, three years and six months, he also came out and made himself available before the king. He said to the king, he said to Obadiah, the, 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 the servant of the king, go and tell the king, go and tell her that Elijah is here. Hallelujah. This is a man that I've been looking for for three and a half years. They have been looking for him. The king will keep on going from one, one country to another, one nation to another, asking them, did you see Elijah? And any city that said they did not see Elijah, he made them to swear. Because he was looking for Elijah to kill him. But after three years and a half, the same man they were looking for was still in that city. There's a level you will get in line with God. Even when the enemy are looking for you, they cannot see you. And somebody will enter that level today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yet he was abandoned. And when the appointed time came, he came out and said to the king, When the king saw him, he said, Is thou the troubler of Israel? You that have kept us in this trouble. And he was bold enough to say to him, Is you and your father's house that kept us in this condition? Hallelujah. Is you and your father's house that kept us in this condition. And before King could say anything, he said, Go and gather the prophet of Baal. Let us meet at Mount Carmel. Let us go there. Any God that answered by fire, let that one become our God. If Baal answered by fire, I will serve God. But if God answered by fire, let everybody know who will stand for God, who will challenge me that I'm making man with their occult power, who will challenge me that I'm making man with their demonic power, who will challenge me people are hiding. Even when we say we are Christians, we are not producing the result of Christianity. We just say it by our mouth that we are denying the power thereof. And that is why we can sit in a place with occult men, we can sit in a place with little doctors and we say, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to uh, God what belongs to God. Is that not an error? I had a program in my village and on that 
faithful day when I was about to come back to Abuja, I see the village that thought they don't have native daughters, the native daughters came to hire houses and begin to do nonsense. And as I was about to leave, I said, seven days from today, if any native daughter remain in this place, will be a dead man. And within that seven days, all of them backed out. And I, I, I was looking at that. They were not there when I made the announcement. How did they know? We are in the era that no longer keep quiet. Because the moment you stand for God, God will stand for you. He said, let us go. Any God that answered by fire, let that God become my God. Elijah is a man that proven God. Elijah is a man that knows that God never fell. And when they got to that place, to that mountain, something happened. While the prophets of past were jumping up and down from morning to three in the village, from morning till three in the evening, nothing happened. And when it was turned of Elijah, there is something that Elijah did. The first thing Elijah did was to rebuild the altar of God. Yes, Who among us now will take it upon himself to rebuild the altar, to, to, to renew the altar of God, to restore the altar of God, to rebuild the altar of God. The altar of God is altar of prayer. The altar of God is where God meets with me. The altar of God is where sacrifice is being offered. The altar of God is where judgment is being taken place. The altar of God is where cases are being settled. Who will restore the altar to our own generation? Who will restore the altar? That was the first thing that Elijah did. Elijah brought back the 12 stones that represent the 12 tribes of Israel. He rebuilt the altar. But while he was rebuilding the altar, the word of God said, he was doing it and everyone was coming closer to see what he was doing. It has gotten to a time when we will go back to the ancient part. We will begin to rebuild the altar of God. Rebuilding the altar of God through prayer. Many people have run away. Many don't know God again. But Elijah told them, come, 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 come. If there is a man that can bring men back to God, God will prove himself powerful on behalf of that man. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Nobody heard about him until the day he manifested. And I want to announce you, announce to somebody in this meeting. Hear me, hear me well. Within 24 hours, you will begin to manifest. Amen. I said, within 24 hours, you begin to manifest. Amen. What the second person said to the person, I must manifest. Amen. Ah. Amen. I must manifest. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. God is not man. 
and by this you now. He said by his eyes moving toe and through all over the earth to show himself powerful on behalf of those who are loyal to him. Hallelujah. Amen. This is a man that God says, present yourself to the king. He drew men closer and there and there when he rebuilt the altar. He asked them to begin. They did the they took a trench and he asked them to begin to pour water. Is there any connection with fire and water? Water quenches fire. But this man said they should put water. Do you know why he was doing that? He knows who called him. He knows who he believe. He knows who he stand for. He knows who have, who, who have sent him on that mission. And all of us were sent to do what? To make a change. You are here today, not for any other thing, but you are here because you are an agent of change. Amen. You are an agent of change. Amen. I say you are an agent of change. Amen. And after this meeting, from now, you begin to manifest. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Where is the Lord God of the Lord? If you don't know this God, it's the same God in the days of that scarcity when people were dying, when animals were dying because there was no food, the same God said to Elijah, I commanded the raven to feed you. Go to the brook of Kishon. There the raven will feed you. And what about Raven is an animal that doesn't eat. There is always a place where your blessings are meant for you. And if you don't know the place, you become strong. God did not create you to struggle. Hear me and hear me today. After this meeting, beginning from now, you shall experience divine direction. I say you shall experience divine direction. I say you shall experience divine direction. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why are you here? Why are you still asking where is God? God is alive. It's the same God that when everything was as poured, He can renew everything. He can restore everything. The people cried for three and a half years. And on that faithful day, that God answered my fire. On that faithful day, that God answered my fire. That same day, rain fell. Hallelujah. Amen. He's a God that answered by fire. And I want you to understand today that God will begin to prove himself on behalf of you by fire. Amen. Any enemy that will want to waste your destiny, fire will consume them. Amen. Any altar that is speaking against you, fire will consume them. Amen. Any man or woman that found that are not going to succeed, let fire.
ask you to bring this thing here. I told you to go to any order, and they said to me, you did not tell us a particular order. You tell us to go to any order, and we are choosing this order. Hallelujah. Amen. As I collected that envelope from them, I said to them, within 24 hours, a strong man will go down. Amen. And on Friday, around after one, they called me. That the woman, they called them from the village that the woman has died. No sickness in that, and death stopped. Amen. That is the God of Elijah. If you say you know they happen, you will see it. If you say you are stubborn, you will see them destroying you. That is the God of Elijah. That is the God of Elijah. Amen. When people say, Where is the God of Elijah? Is the God that answered by fire? Elijah did not pray too much prayer. He just said something. He said, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that they may know that you sent me, that they may know that you are the only God in Israel. Answer by fire. Fire came down. Simple prayer, but powerful prayer. Simple prayer, but powerful answer. In this city, there is going to be simple prayer, but you will not recover from what will happen in your life today. You don't understand. I say you will not recover from what will happen in your life today. The blessing that will hit you, you cannot recover from it. And people will see it because we are summoning a God that answers by fire. Hallelujah. We are now serving a God that does what? That answers by fire. Before this prayer meeting him, because I can hear the sound of abundance of rain. As I'm standing up here, the sound of abundance of blessings. Yeah. 